This video goes along with the elements, isotopes, and ions lecture. We are going to show you, or I am going to show you, some examples of how to identify elements based on some of our previous knowledge and how to identify isotopes as well as ions. Now, remember, protons have a positive charge. Neutrons have no charge. All right, they are represented in the drawings by a solid dot and a green circle. And our electrons, which have a negative charge, are represented by a black circle. Remember, protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus and the electrons travel around the nucleus. Also, remember that the number of protons determines what an element is or determines what makes one element different from another. And by counting the number of protons in the nucleus, you can tell which element is which. Let's look at this first example. We see here that we have one, two, three, four protons. And if you have a periodic table of elements handy, you will see that the element with four protons is beryllium. Now, after I show you this example, you should take a moment and pause at each example that we work through and see if you can come up with the element, the charge, and the mass number before I give it to you. And I'll remind you of that in a moment. Now, if we want to figure out the charge on our atom, we again need to count our protons and electrons. Here's an example again. So we have one, two, three, four protons and protons are positively charged. So I have four positively charged protons. Then I have one, two, three, four, five electrons on the outside of the Nucleus. I have five negatively charged electrons. So I have one I have one more electron than I do protons. And electrons are negatively charged. So I have one more electron than protons and it has a negative charge. So my charge on this atom is negative one. This would be a negatively charged ion. Mass number, remember, is equal to is equal to protons, I'll represent it with a P plus, is equal to protons plus neutrons. I'll put an N and a zero because neutrons have no charge. So to get my mass number, I count the number of protons and I know that it's four, and then I count my neutrons, one, two, three, four, five, five neutrons, four plus five equals nine. So I know that I have a mass number of nine. Let's do another example. Pause for a moment right here and see if you can come up with which element this is, which charge, and the mass number. Okay. If you've counted properly, you'll see that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven protons. So that means this element has an atomic number of seven. Element number on the seven on the periodic table is nitrogen. To get the charge, I'll count the protons and the electrons. I already know that I have 
seven positively charged electrons. And if I count our positively charged protons in the nucleus, then I'll count my electrons. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten electrons and they are negative. I can see here that I have three more electrons than protons. So I have three more electrons which are negatively charged. So my charge is negative three. My mass number is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus. I already know that I have seven protons and then I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven neutrons. Seven plus eleven equals eighteen. So I know that I have a mass number of eighteen. I could write this element or this atom as nitrogen eighteen, which could be represented like this, or by putting writing it out like that. Here's another example. Pause for a moment and see if you can get which element this is. You should see that this element is element number one, two, three, four, five, six, because it has six protons, so that element is carbon. To find out its charge, we count the protons and the electrons again. I have six positively charged protons, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six negatively charged electrons. So six protons and six electrons gives me a zero charge. So this is a neutral atom because it has a zero charge. All right, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six neutrons in the nucleus to go with my six protons. So six plus six gives me a mass number of 12. And the exact name of this element would be carbon 12. Now, let's see a few examples of ions or in isotopes. You can see here that we have two atoms. This atom has 14 protons and 12 neutrons. This atom has 14 protons and 8 neutrons. But because they both have the same numbers of protons, they are the same element. But However, they are isotopes because they contain the same numbers of protons. Element number 14 is silicon or silicon. So, silly, oh, that's part of my, okay, there we go. Getting a little ahead of myself, silicon. That's element number 14, okay? Because they both have, eh, I can't, there we go. Sorry, that's better. And because they have same numbers of protons, they're isotopes. Now to get the, to get the exact name, we did the mass, the mass number by counting the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. So this would be silicon 26 because 14 plus 12 is 26. And this would be silicon 22 because 14 plus 8 is 22. Pause for a moment here and see if you can get which element this is the charge, the mass number, and the exact name. You will see that this is again, this is carbon because it has six protons. It also has one, two, three, four, five, six. This is very similar to the previous example. It's the same example actually. It's got a neutral charge, mass number 12, and it's carbon 12. 